all of my assets are exported now. The next step is to create an Unreal project. Let's start Unreal Editor and create a new blank project. First, I want to enable Vue in Unreal. I can do that if I go to the bottom of the pop-up window and select Manage Plugins, or go to the top and select Settings Plugins. In the Chaos software selection, I will enable both v plugins and then press the Restart Now button. OK, I want to create a new level first. So, I'll choose an empty level. Now, I can start importing my assets. First, let's start with the Datasmith assets. To do this, I will need to click on the Datasmith icon and open my file. I'll leave everything by default and then press Import. As you can see, all the Datasmith files come with a hierarchy from Free Studio Max. Next, let's import the V-Ray scene assets. I'm going to leave everything by default and then press Import. Also, note that Unreal will automatically switch to my imported camera in the viewport. I'll take a quick look and check if everything was imported properly. As you can see, all of my assets were transferred from Free Studio Max to Unreal successfully. Alright, it's also a good habit once we import everything to save our level before we do anything else. So let's go to File, Save All, and then I will give the scene a name. Next, I want to organize my scene a little bit in the World Outliner. To do so, I'll collapse the Unreal Interior 01 and create a new folder. Let's rename it and call it Geometry. Then I'll select all the geometry in my scene and I'll drag it into the folder. Now let's create another folder for our lights and do the same. It always is a good habit to organize everything in Unreal. This way I can easily make changes later on in my project. Finally, I'll make a new folder for my cameras, and I will put my camera in it. Also, I'll change the camera's name to Very Physical Camera. And I will save my changes to the scene.